Me so, me so. Can this be evil? <laughs> Man, fuck your rust on my stable Cut block your label, baby God got the hands to rock the cradle With the aid of an angel Turn table, little devil with the face Of an angel, I'm spitting several Pages aimed to disgrace you Young bloods waiting in the wings to replace you After I blaze you, like a Great zoo, you beating me and take a Scientific breakthrough, and only I've got the IQ to do it, the prize I pursue it, I blew, you blew it The hydro I blow, I grew it Could have win this, but if in my if I'm super glued to it, super screwing I saw an A&R and R and took a snooker cue to him I was too brewing, get drunk and overdo it Wanna save the city, give the monster a chew it And he's onto some new shit, exclusive With his army hat skewed with Karaoke down with some party, I could do shit With a bad attitude, bitch, the fun huge twist Leaving the building with the microfilm blueprints And I hardly had to do shit but spit around Holler at your boy like your mother did at dinner time, dinner time. Gentlemen can always fight better than rattle. Yes, right. gentlemen always fight better than rattle. And what does the captain of our troops say? Well, gentlemen, Georgia fights. I go with him. Like my father, I hope that the Yankees will let us leave the Union in peace. But Ashley, but Ashley, they've insulted us. You can't mean you don't want war. Most of the miseries of the world were caused by wars. But when the wars were over, no one ever knew what they were about. Now, gentlemen, Mr. Butler's been up north, I hear. Don't you agree with this, Mr. Butler? I think it's hard winning a war with words, gentlemen. What do you mean? I mean, Mr. Hamilton, there's not a cannon factory in the whole South. What difference does that make, sir, to a gentleman? I'm afraid it's going to make a great deal of difference to a great many gentlemen, sir. Are you hinting, Mr. Butler, that the Yankees can lick us? No, I'm not hinting. I'm saying very plainly that the Yankees are better equipped than we. In the factory, shipyards, coal mines, and a fleet to bottle up our harbors and starve us to death. All we've got is cotton, slaves, and arrogance. That's right, right. Oh, I refuse to listen to any renegade talk. I'm sorry if the truth offends you. Apologies aren't enough, sir. I hear you are turned out of West Point, Mr. Red Butler, and that you aren't receiving any decent family in Charleston. Not even your own. Not even your own. Not even your own.